Check out Chaos Cards for awesome prices and products. Ruth here, and this is my Chaos Cards haul. I haven't actually done one of these in ages. I know I took a picture of something before, but I never actually did a video of it. So here are the three things. I did pre-order some stuff, so those aren't here yet. Because they come out on like 22nd of February, and obviously this is... What? What is this? Uh, 7th of February right now? And obviously this might not go up on the 7th of February. Um, but, um, this is when I, this is when it came. <laughs> so let's start. So, um, let's put the tripod down here. Not hitting anything, hopefully. So, first up. Ooh, this is heavy thing. So, a lot of these, well, some of them I did, I did actually order them separately, because, uh, so I can utilize the, uh, the discount codes, because obviously I don't think you can stack the discount codes, so I did separate orders on the same day. So. Oh, cool. weekend soon because otherwise I will so like not have any room in my recycling box. It's actually it's kind of full right now. Okay, so first up after this first box is the great oh I'm just take them both out. Okay, here's a tip of uh, one one of the things right you always check the damaged uh, items section because here we have, you know, it's grease on the side and the plastic is off, but we got some Ultra Pro Platinum Series 9 pocket pages. It's, you know, still sealed. As you see, there's tape there. But this costs less than what it normally would because it's damaged packaging, which is awesome and like you know all the stuff on the inside still brand spanking new and everything so that is awesome because I don't really care about the packaging because I recycle the box after I use everything anyway so now I've got a spare because I think I have two boxes yeah I've got two boxes that's still in the plastic wrap and I still have one that I've almost completely used that's like silver series. Not that I see any difference really between these and the silver series, but yes. So just to always check damaged items because I think this was like nine pounds something when originally it's like, oh man, was it originally? 14 or something? I don't know, but it's good. So the next thing I got in that, in that box was Dun, dun, dun. Let's move this. The Team Up Elite Trainer Box. I still need to get the Dragon Majesty Trainer Box. But it hasn't been... Um, it's been out of stock for some reason. So, I got this. My first Team Up... Uh, part of the Team Up set I got. I couldn't resist. So... Yeah, too bad they didn't do the uh, Snorlax and Easy home cover, but still, Pikachu is like the icon, so they had Pikachu on there. So that is that. So, next box. I am showing you this way because I am not going to show you my address. So I'm going to open it this way. Tape. Okay. Let me just open it from the bottom. I oh, think that's much easier. Da -da -da. So much easier if I open it from the bottom. All the packaging will still be in the box. <laughs> I'm just move this slightly a bit more. 
away from you when you... I'm not technically your nose but Santa's nose like that anyway, but still. Okay, here we have the team up. Four pocket portfolio with the lovely Evie and Snorlax on the back. Get this open if you like. <clears throat> this little so pretty. Let's just move this this way. And I'll show you here. There we go. It's almost so good. Just normal four pocket pages. Can I find it? I mean, like, it opens this way for the front part. But when you get to the back part, it opens this way. Yeah. Okay, so that's that. I like this side better. <laughs> then we have the one I was missing from The Lost Thunder, the Altaria promo version. And for now, I'm keeping these set aside for when um, people want to pack battle me. And I think I ordered these. These are for a pack battle too. Though I mainly ordered one of each art, so I can stick it in my scrapbook. But so cute, so freaky. Onion head. So, for those, so I'm hoping to maybe do a pack battle with Mewtwo with those ones. And let's see, rest this packaging. So, I throw this next to my recycling box over there. Um, yes, I'll throw this box next to my recycling box over there. Okay, so I did order some of these cards. And people love taping top loaders. Okay, so. The sad part about taping them is that the stickiness of the tape never comes off, so I'll just fold it over. Okay, so, the thing that was in the top loader is this. The lovely Harpies of Feather Rest. So that's nice. Some of the Yu-Gi-Oh cards, I really love the Harpy cards. So. Okay, so next we have Harpy's Featherstorm, Harpy Oracle, Harpy Lady Elegance. It's like Harpy Lady 1, 2, and 3, or it's Harpy Lady Sisters with the uh, Cyber Shield or something, and the uh, I forgot what the whip was called, but anyway, that. So that was a pretty card. And we have Flight of the Harpies. When I came across this, couldn't resist. I mean, so cool. So yeah, so that all. And in the white bit, it's been slightly embossed, and it says Speed Duel. Ooh, as you notice, on the back it says, My Valentine, a skill card. Flip this card over when you activate this skill. That's pretty cool. Never seen a skill card before. Awesome. I'm pretty sure I said it. It says Speed Duel right here. I can't remember if I actually said that. <laughs> so, yeah. And there was one card that I found as well, but that was like around nine pounds something, but I found it like nine ninety nine or something. But I found it cheaper on eBay, so I bought it there instead. But yes. Oh wait, yeah, that's another one card. 
Um, you know what, for these, I'll put them in their own sleeve, because, like, I like... Now, where did I put the sleeves? <laughs> did I put them in here? Yeah, I put my Yu-Gi-Oh sleeves in here. I don't like my, my uh, Pokemon sleeves in there only, but, uh, yes. Though technically, in the other box, I think I've got sleeves in there. And why is my hair there? Um, anyway, since I got these open, I'll put the sleeves in here. I'll be right back. Okay, I sleeved up my cards. Now, here, we have the last package. Blink. E. It's so much easier. Videoing this on a desk, I mean, my knees don't hurt when I'm on the, because I'm not on the floor, and, well, when my back doesn't hurt from leaning over, it's a nice change. <laughs> Probably should have done it in the beginning, but, uh, as you might have seen in my I Clean My Desk video, my desk is not clean. I don't think I did a before picture or after picture, because I never actually took one, but... It wasn't pretty, shall we say the least. <laughs> mm. So, yes, as I thought, I have sleeves. Okay, so, I've got many. Um, I've got six samurai sleeves, because obviously the Pokemon sleeves are a bit bigger than the Yu-Gi-Oh sleeves, because I guess Yu-Gi-Oh is slightly smaller cards than Pokemon, so. Then we have Kaiba. It says Kaiba's Majestic Collection Card Sleeves. Well, Kaiba with Blue Eyes, White Dragon. And we've got the lovely Kaiba Corpse Sleeves. There were no Yugi based sleeves I saw. So, eh. so there we go. So that's, that's over there. And. One of the things that I got was this Ultra Pro Playmat and Artwork Tube. Finally, because this Playmat Tube is for this Island Guardian Playmat. Playmat. Uh, to store that Playmat in. Because for some reason I never had one, and when I looked for one before, there wasn't any. Eh. We just. Check in the box to make sure there's nothing. Okay, so. This goes in recycling too. Man, mom's gonna ask me what in the world I'm ordering. <laughs> okay, so. So this playmat too, I'm just gonna open up. This is a lot more. Interesting than uh, what I'm used to. I mean, the other playmat ones were so not uh, something. Now, this for some reason has plastic over it. Now, why would it have plastic over it? I have no idea. Should I just cut it? Can I even cut it? That's a question. Oops. Ooh, almost dropped it. Mm -hmm. Okay, where did I even start snipping it? All right. Okay, I managed to cut Okay, this is more of a Cling film than plastic, but... Fits playmats up to 15 inches in length. Fits art artwork, documents, and drawings. And posters up to 15 inches in length. Protects your playmat from dust and dirt. Acid free, no PVC. Is what it says. <laughs> So 
a snippy snippy. And that took a lot much more effort to take off than I thought. Plastic. I'm guessing that recyclable. I'm putting it in a second box anyway. But here. It is good. It fits just right. So this will be for this lovely Island Guardian playmat. Which Oh, and it's it's um if you didn't know. The top bit, besides being embossed with uh, the words Ultra Pro brand, is rubbery. Oh, that's loud. <laughs> so I guess you just peel it off. Yeah. So yeah. Rubber. And it's got a hole in the top. I guess, so it's not completely airtight, but still seems good. Hmm. And surprise, surprise, made in China. <laughs> so yeah, I needed this for the playmat, so when I want to swap playmats or something, I can put it in this store under my desk. So for now, that will stay under my desk. Somewhere. Okay, I'm going to place. So, the last thing in this lovely haul is this what I've been meaning to get for ages. <laughs> the legendary Hero Dex. So now I've got at least quite a bit of stuff to record here. It's a lovely legendary Hero Dex. deck, Nordic deck, and Phantom Knights deck. So I'm interested in the Nordic deck. I like, you know, mythology stuff. So I do have a Nordic, or, hmm, I guess you say Nordic myth section in my Leverage files for my cards. Phew, that good. I mean, I've got a jumbo of the Odin here too, by the way. I mean, I think I only have two jumbo cards, but uh, yeah. anyway, get ready to disperse. No, I can't even read. Get ready to dispense some dueling justice with the legendary hero decks. Fully compatible with all of the cards you already own. Blah blah blah. Yeah. So lovely. So I shall. Thing. And I guess when I record Yu-Gi-Oh stuff, I can use my Yu-Gi-Oh playmat. Though it's uh, one of those hard um, cardboard playmats I got with like that Kyra collection thing. But anyway, yes. So my haul contains legendary hero decks. Let me turn this aside so you can see everything. We got. One, two, three. Kyber, well, two Kyber related slaves. One, six samurai slave. Along with lovely harpy cards. Then we've got the Lost Thunder Altaria the promo version. We've got these four team up. Packs that are going to be hopefully in pack battle with YouTube. I got this lovely A4, uh, no, it's not A4, but a four pocket sleeve thing. I like Snorlax and Eevee on the back. Then we finally got team up box along with some ultra pro slaves and that was pretty heavy um so yeah so all in all that is pretty good haul thing i gotta say well along with the, the play mat tube thing yes yes so um 
here. I don't know. Can I even balance this on here? Okay. So I don't know. That was a pretty good haul. Got to say. Lovely. Though originally when I was buying all the stuff, I was originally just going to pre-order the three Evolution tins. And maybe something else. <laughs> oh, and the, uh, the, the two... The luxury ball and the grey ball. But um, I got sidetracked with um, all this lovely goodies and uh, I had to get some team up stuff. And since the boost daily trainer box is right still in stock, so I thought I'd get that too because, well, I still need to get that Dragon Majesty one, but it's not in stock. So I guess I might have to see if I can buy somewhere else. Though I like mainly buy from Chaos cards first. You know, customer loyalty and all that, but I might buy from somewhere else if I if it doesn't get in stock. Um, so yes. All this stuff lovely jumping. Awesomeness. I'll have to do a better layout for when I take a picture, but still. Awesome. And it fits on the desk, which is very nice. So that's it. So I look forward to me opening some of these goodies, which basically is only the trainer box and the legendary hero deck on my own, and hopefully these will be in the pack battle, maybe this is in a pack battle, or I'll just open on my own anyway, because I still have some things for a pack battle, which is under here. Which is these. Which I ordered ages ago. I'm still waiting. If someone wants to pack it on me, I've got the Helen Executor version. This, these two checkling blisters as well. So if anybody wants to pack it on me in any one of these, then please do send me a, uh, let's just say, a DM on Instagram and I should get back to you and we'll fiddle, fiddle out to date or something um preferably on one of my upload days which is you know Monday Wednesday Friday Saturday so yeah one of those days would be nice though I don't mind fiddling around, though preferably on like, schedule it for a day later, so not on that exact day when I film it, because that means I have to make the thumbnail, and then edit the pictures to make sure that they're all good, because I normally edit all the pictures, you know, with the brightness and contrast stuff, but then I have to edit it all, and like, put it all together, and yeah, so hopefully, you don't ask me to do it for uploading it on the same day because yeah that's a bit of a tough one for me depending on when I actually record it so anyway that's it that's it I'm um, enough rambling so thank you for watching like and subscribe for more ring the doorbell for notifications over and out <laughs>